Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are brand new. My name is Danielle and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. As you guys can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite tools that I've implemented into my business and that is Posture VA. If you guys don't know what Posture VA is, I would strongly recommend that you keep watching because not only will it increase your sales, but it will save you so much time. Before we go ahead and jump in, I do actually want to thank Posture VA for sponsoring today's video. Now, even though this video is sponsored by them, it does not change any of my opinions or any of the information I am sharing with you guys. If you guys are frequent viewers of my channel, you know I don't usually recommend a lot of services and companies to you guys without having used it in the past and really love it. I've actually been using Posture VA for so long. I actually mentioned it in multiple vlogs and I talk about it all the time. So even though this is sponsored, this does not change any of my opinions or my thoughts on the company. But let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. Not only am I going to share with you guys what Posture VA is, I'm also going to share with you guys how it can help you in your reselling business. And I'm also going to show you exactly how to use it. First off, I want to talk about what it is. So Posture VA is actually an automated virtual assistant or a bot that helps increase sales and get more followers. And it actually automates all the very tedious tasks that go along with Poshmark. And this can all be done while you're not even home and you're not even monitoring it. It runs in a Google Chrome extension and is extremely easy to use. I will show you guys how to use it later on in the video. But essentially, Posture VA can not only share your closet for you, follow people for you, send offers, drop your prices and raise your prices, but it can also relist and delist your items. Sometimes I can't even believe that one tool does all of these things. And I also sometimes can't believe that some people have no idea it even exists. Now, all of that sounds great, but I know that some of you are still hesitant because I said the word bot. Now, I don't think bots are talked about enough in the reselling community. And that's one reason why I wanted to make this video because there are so many people using bots and using Posture VA and you probably don't even know what they're using it. You can't even tell. Posture VA runs in a way that is actually indistinguishable to a regular user. This basically means it runs the same way as a real human would, so it is 100% safe. It has capture detection and auto solve, so you never have to touch it while it's running. It also has delays between shares and follows, so it acts as if a real person is actually doing everything. And lastly, it has a built-in throttle prevention, which means if they notice something dangerous, the Posture VA automatically changes behavior. All of these things are in place to make sure that the tool is 100% safe to use and that you are safe using it. And a couple things to keep in mind is this is not available on mobile. It is available strictly through a Google Chrome browser. If you're running on a MacBook laptop or an iMac, then you will have to download the Google Chrome browser, which is also super easy. And you will also have to keep it running or open in the background as the tasks are running. So now I actually want to pop over to my Google Chrome extension of Posture VA and show you guys all of the features and how exactly to use all of them. Okay, so we moved over to my desktop computer. As you can see, we are on my Poshmark closet. You can scroll down and see all of my listings, but we're really gonna be focused on this extension up here. So this has a little hanger on it and you could just download that in the Google Chrome store and you, it's super easy to download. It's super easy to sign up. I will have a link down below and I'll tell you guys more. I have an offer for you at the end of the video. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use this extension. So you can see up here, there's a lot of different tabs that you can click on. Um, this is share, follow, actions, options, and stats. So I'm going to go through each different tab and show you guys exactly how to use each tab. And I'm also going to share with you guys kind of what I click and choose when I am doing these tasks. So first things first, the sharing aspect of this extension is probably the most important and the most helpful for me. Now, what I do with my sharing is I like to share two followers. You can also share two posh parties and you can edit next list. If you do not know what edit next list is, that just means you go into each listing and you edit it, you next it and you list it instead of clicking the share button. It's been talked about before in the Poshmark community. Most, most of the time, it's been a long time ago that people have said, oh, that's better to share than pushing the share button. It really doesn't matter what kind of sharing you do. Any sharing is going to work. Um, you can also click from my closet or from the current page. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is the sharing speed. You don't want it to go too fast. You don't want it to go too slow. You kind of want it to look like it's a real person doing it. So what I do is I kind of leave it on 
the medium speed, which is two to three seconds. If you go to sloth speed, eight to 10 seconds, slow speed is four to seven seconds. And then fast speed is one to two seconds. You can also customize it, but I would strongly recommend just sticking with like a medium or a slow. So it doesn't look super suspicious on your actual Poshmark account. Obviously, they do have a built-in throttle, so if something does go wrong and something's looking sketchy, it will automatically stop what it's doing just to keep you safe. Uh, the next options you're going to choose are just the sharing options. Um, zero means to share all of your listings if you just wanted to share like 100, do 100 or whatever you want to put there. Um, I only share my available items. I do, I mean, reverse sharing order doesn't really matter if you click that or not. You just toggle these like this. You just can click them and toggle them. Um, I like to do randomize order. Um, and then I also like to share the eligible listings to the posh parties. So you can come up here and you can share strictly to posh parties or in your sharing, you can actually just have the eligible listings shared to the parties. You can also do something called continuous sharing. And this just shares the items on the page over and over and over again. You can do that if you so please, but I do not toggle that. These are all the things that I typically toggle when I'm sharing. As you can see down here, my actual, my posture bay is actually running as we speak. It is on listing 774 of 978, um, and it's just sharing away, and it'll literally show you as it's sharing. And I can go out here, and I can go to my just shared, and it will actually show you that these items are getting shared. So these are all the items that have just been shared. So as you can see, it's sharing for me and I'm literally doing nothing. And the reason why I have to do nothing is because I actually have the shares scheduled for me throughout the entire day. Now, this is one of my favorite things that this extension offers is the scheduling of shares. I actually schedule my shares this time every single day. So I have 1 a.m., 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., and 11 p.m. I basically came up with this schedule by myself one day and I said, okay, my closet's getting shared this many times a day at these times every single day. You can obviously do whatever schedule you want, but keep in mind if you do choose to do a schedule sharing, you will have to have the Poshmark extension running in the background. So you cannot close out this Google Chrome tab. You also cannot have your computer shut off or go to sleep. It needs to be running completely for it to do its sharing. So mine's always open. It's always sharing for me every single day. Super helpful. This is by far probably my most used and my favorite aspect of this extension. If this extension only had the sharing aspect, I would probably still purchase it just because this is so valuable. And with someone who has almost a thousand listings in their closet, it takes so much time for me to manually share. So this is my by far my favorite aspect of the extension. Moving over here to the follow tab. This is very self-explanatory. Obviously you can follow people. They do have a daily follow limit set. So you do not want to follow more than 6,000 people a day. Like I said before, this is really trying to keep you safe. So they do have a safe follow mode and a limit just to keep you safe because you don't want it to look like you have a bot. You want it to look like you have an actual person sharing and following and doing all these tasks for you. And if you do not use their recommended amount of shares and follows, then you might get into a little bit of trouble. So just use what their recommended is and that's how you'll be the most safe. Obviously, it'll tell you like the status of the following so the follow is idle right now so it's not running you can then choose whether you want to follow from the page you're on you can follow fresh closets just join closets you can also unfollow people so this is very self-explanatory when you get the extension if you have like more questions and want to know more about the follow feature you can click this it'll like take you through every step by step this is not um a feature that i really use often i use it occasionally when i um want to follow people but typically i don't think following is a super important task that you need to do on Poshmark, but some people enjoy following other people and enjoy doing this. So this is an option on the extension if you'd like to use it. The next tab is actually one of my favorite tabs besides the share. This actually has a ton of different things that you can do, starting with the offer watcher feature. This is a feature that so many people love to use. And basically what the offer watcher feature is, is it will basically send an offer right after someone likes your item. So how this works is you can click a, an offer delay. So this means, ten, say you did 10 minutes, 10 minutes after your item is liked, they will send whatever offer you choose to that person who liked your item automatically and you don't have to use it, you don't have to touch it, you don't have to even think about it. 
and once you enable it that is set for every single item and it just runs until you disable it so you can basically select your offer delay so 10 minutes 20 minutes basically however long you want your offer you can do 10 20 basically whatever percentage you want to offer off a really cool thing they offer is flexible shipping so as you can see here if i toggle it you can actually click when you wanted to offer $5.95 shipping, when you wanted to offer $4.99 shipping, and when you wanted to offer free shipping. So say you want to do $5.95 shipping for items, let's say 40 and under. And then for $4.99, you want to do items from 40 to 100. And then if the price is 100 or more, you can offer free shipping. So I actually love this feature. I think it's so customizable because up here, you can click. So if you unclick this, you can just do your regular shipping offers. And it's kind of like you can do $5.95 for everything, but some items are more desirable with $4.99 shipping. So I love that you can actually come in here and customize this for whatever you want, for whatever prices you want to put it at. So love this feature. I think it's amazing and I think it's super customizable and I think it's better than most other bots out there in my opinion. The next thing you can do is actually select your minimal net earnings. So this basically just lets you select the minimum that you want to make. So you can set it at 15, 20, basically whatever you want to customize it to. Um, and then you can actually exclude items listed in the last amount of time. This is in hours. Um, I usually do like two weeks on this type of thing, one or two weeks. You honestly need to leave some room for your items to sell full price because if you're automatically sending offers you're never gonna have full price sales so i would definitely recommend doing one or two weeks on here maybe even more if you want um i don't use this um offer watcher currently i have used it in the past but i like to give my items time to sell full price so i don't use this currently but so many people use this and so many people love it um, and then you can also exclude newest tag items and boutique items if you want one thing i love to use is the send bulk offers feature this is probably my second most used feature from posture va and you can actually send offers on your entire closet and you literally click like four buttons and that is it it is amazing so this is very similar to this offer watcher up here but it's just going to send bulk offers on your entire closet so you can customize your offer typically i do 20 percent here and typically i do a 5.95 shipping like i said i don't really do 4.99 shipping much um only when i'm really trying to move stuff um you can do all you can do a subset from page or from newsfeed, you can basically do whatever. I typically do all of my listings. And then you can also click a minimal net earnings once again, and you can exclude items listed in the last blank amount of days. So here I usually do my minimal net earnings at like 15 or 20, and then I exclude items listed in the last typically two weeks, the same as the other one. So the next thing you can do on this actions tab is actually a bulk price update, which I actually haven't ever used this before. And I've meant to like every closet clear out and I literally forget every time because I'm always so busy. But what you can do here is actually drop or increase the price of all of your listings so this is especially helpful for closet clear out i used to love closet clear out but i would never want to go back and raise my prices again so i stopped using closet clear out because of that reason but with this you can drop the price and then go back and increase the price afterwards which is amazing because when you go drop your prices you don't want to keep them low you want to raise them back up so you can drop the price for closet clear out and the next day go back in and increase the prices again you can also click whether you wanted to drop the lowest historical price or the actual or the current price of it that's really up to you you can choose whatever you want then you can customize your percentage drop 10 percent, 20 percent, whatever like i said before 20 percent is really a sweet spot for me i find two percent is too low 20 percent and higher is really going to move some stuff for you you can also set it to have a minimum number of likers so if you are strictly dropping your price for closet clear out you don't want to sit, you don't want to do that for items with no likes because then you're that's not going to do anything for you. So I would definitely recommend do for at least one or two likes there if you're doing it for closet clear out. If you're just dropping your prices just to do it, that doesn't really matter, but if you're doing closet clear out, definitely have some likers on the items. And then you can do it again. You can do all of your items or subset from the page. Typically with this, I always do all items in every aspect because I want everything to be done. So down here, you can actually customize this further. Now, if you want to only do this for items listed for $25 or more, you can click here and your minimum can be set to $25. Your max can be at zero. So this is only going to drop the prices on items that are listed for $25 or more. 
which is extremely helpful. You also have a Mac, so if you don't want to price drop anything that's over 100, you can also put that there. And then down here, you can actually do the same exact thing, but with the amount of days that the items have been listed. So if you only wanted to drop prices on items that have been listed for more than a month, then you can put 30 days here with no max, and it'll only drop the prices of stuff listed more than 30 days. So I love how customizable this is. Once again, I think it's just so much more customizable than some other bots and extensions out there that this has been my favorite one by far. And you can also do reverse order. It'll load items from bottom to top. That's like on everything. Obviously, it also shows you that it is idle. And then the next thing you can do is activity returner. This is something that I have used in the past and I should really use more often. So the, what this does is it actually returns shares and follows from the news feed. So you can do shares or follows. You can do one or the other, or you can do both. Um, and then you can do, you can customize. So you can do three shares per closet. You can do five shares per closet. You can do whatever you want. And then you can actually customize the time frame that you want it to run at. So if you want it to run for an hour, you can customize this to an hour. If you want it to run for an entire day, you can customize it for an entire day. And then, of course, the action speed. Of course, I wouldn't go too fast. I wouldn't go too slow. I always really keep it on medium. I have used this before. I do enjoy using it. And then one of their newest features is actually their relist and delist feature, which I know there's so many companies out there that have relist and delist fe features. You guys know I don't relist and delist on here because I like to see my items. But for people who want one extension to do everything, this is the extension for you. It literally shares, it follows, it sends offers, it literally does everything. And on top of all that, it relists and delists for you. In my opinion, relisting and delisting is one of the most important things to make sales. You have to relist your old items or else they're just sitting there with a bunch of likes and no one wants them. So there's a daily relist limit of, I have mine's at 100 because I've never used this before, um, but they don't recommend that you do more than 250. Again, they are trying to keep you safe. So here is another filter for the amount of days stuff has been listed. So if you only want it to go on items listed for more than 60 days, it'll only delist and relist items that are listed for more than 60 days. You can also set a max really customizable once again. And then this is the number of items to relist. So you can actually okay say if you say you want to do 10 now 10 later so do 10 now and then do it again something really cool though on this extension is you can actually raise the items price so say you just dropped all the prices of your items for closet clear out with the other feature up here now if you're relisting those items you can then raise it back up so say you sent 10 percent offers you can then raise them back up 10%. You can also do a flat amount, but the percentage is probably going to be used more often just because if you're lowering it by percentage amount, you want to also increase it by that same percentage amount. But once again, this is super customizable and whatever you want to set it at, you can set it at. I'm telling you what I would set it at, but you don't have to listen to me. Whatever works for you, works for you. Whatever works for me, works for me. You guys know this is like my motto. I always say it. But I think this is an amazing feature if you don't have another relist and delist service that does it for you. It is great to have it all in one and you can really just set it and forget it and not really have to look at it again. So another super helpful thing here. So one thing I do want to show you guys is actually the activity log down here. The last time I sent offers was February 11th and it actually shows you the offers that it sent. So it was fetching items. So there was 961 items in my closet. There was 581 items with at least one like. And then there was 499 items older than 14 days. So I set mine to share, not share, send offers to items listed more than 14 days. So it basically narrowed it down to 499 items and then it started the offer process. And as you can see, sent offers, sent offers, but then it skipped because the net earnings were less than the minimal net earnings that I set. And then it keeps going, offer, offer, and then it skipped, and then it skipped, and then it skipped, and skipped, offer, skipped. And it shows you exactly what got sent an offer, what got skipped, and every single thing until it really finished. We can scroll all the way down here to 499 items. So I love looking at the activity log to kind of see what offers got sent and how many items offers got sent on. And all of these are going to show down here at the activity log. So you can actually go back and look over the activity that actually happened instead of just not really knowing exactly what happened. You'll actually be able to see every single thing. So as you can see, this actions tab here has the most 
actions for you to do and there is a million things that you can do that is, like honestly it's endless what you can do with this extension there's not something you can't do with this extension I promise you even if you only use it for one or two things it's still going to be worth your time and worth your money to get it the next two tabs we're going to go over are not really things that you can actually do but I still want to discuss them just to show you that they're here the next tab is the options tab so this is really just your sharing options and general options and you can set a sharing limit mine is at 9,000 this is not what it is typically set at I will say that um, this is usually set lower I have slowly upped mine as I've been using posture VA for a long time you can really set it at whatever it is you want I would recommend that you leave it at what it is set at initially and then slowly go up as you've been using it that's kind of what I did and now I'm at 9,000 the continuous delay just means that this is the delay between the sharing loop and it's in minutes so if you are over here using the continuous sharing over here if you have this set to two minutes if you have the continuous sharing on it's going to share and then it's going to wait two minutes and then share again and you can really set that to however much whatever you want like if you want this to be 30 minutes set it to 30 minutes like it's really customizable once again I know I'm saying that a million times but it really is extremely customizable to whatever you want to use it for you can also share the not for sale items if you want uh, you can toggle this and then you can also set the reverse as default this is going to share from bottom to top as your default sharing method you can also toggle that if you want as well then in general options it just lets you pick what you want for stats you can have it daily or you can see the last 24 hours and that brings us into our next and final tab this is our stats tab it's going to show my Poshmark account so this is my Poshmark account and it's going to show you your total shares for the day mine is 9,000 um, and I'm at 2,934 and it is 1030 in the morning currently as I'm filming this and as you guys can see I've shared at one I shared at seven nine and then I'll share at 11 o'clock as my next share and I'm that far in so you can see here exactly how much you've shared you can see exactly how many people it's followed you can see exactly how many offers were sent exactly how many price updates there were exactly how many relists you did and then at the bottom it can see how many captures it's solved so I've done five today and this is a limit of 25 and you cannot change the capture limit it is just 25 but I love how you can actually see exactly what you've done for each day and over here if you want to see in the last 24 hours so this is my last 24 hours I had 8,799 shares so I'm right under my limit and obviously I didn't use any of these and then I solved 15 captures so that was a full schedule of my shares and it was 8,799 with how many items I have in my closet and then I saw the 15 captures so it's really nice to kind of see into the stats and then if I were to send offers it would show all that here I just don't I don't send offers I send them like probably maybe once a month or every two to three weeks depending on if sales are slow so that would also show up here if I was doing that as well okay you guys how cool is that extension I promise you there are really no downsides to downloading this posture va and at least trying it once is honestly one of the best things i've ever used and implemented into my business and it has helped me save so much time and i know what a lot of you are thinking you haven't told us the price yet tell us the price i tell you guys you are going to be blown away when i tell you the price of this extension it is 25 dollars a month $25 a month. So for $25 a month, your closet can get shared multiple times a day without you even lifting a finger. You can send offers, you can drop prices, you can relist and delist, all for $25 a month. But wait, there's more. I feel like this is an infomercial, but it's not. You can actually try out this Posture VA extension for two weeks for free. Yes, two full weeks for free and you do not have to enter any credit card information whatsoever and yes there is more I also have a coupon code down below where you guys can save 20% off your subscription after your free two-week trial so not only can you get two weeks free you can then save 20% off on your subscription after that honestly you guys there really is nothing to lose here at least try it out for free for two weeks if you guys are sold Go click that link down below to start your two-week free trial and then save 20% off your subscription after that. If you guys have any questions or need me to clarify anything that I mentioned, definitely leave it down below because I'm always down there to answer any of y'all's questions. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope this extension 
adds to your business as much as it does mine. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again next week.